resistor. Every resistor has colored bands that tell you its value. First, take a screenshot of the color code chart. The first two or three bands represent numbers. The next band is the multiplier, how many zeros to add. The last band, usually gold or silver, shows the tolerance, how accurate the resistor is. Example, if the colors are red, violet, yellow, gold, then red is 2, violet is 7, that gives you 27, yellow is 4, which means times 10,000. So, 27 times 10,000 is equal to 270,000 ohms, or 270k ohms. Gold equals plus or minus 5% tolerance, so the real value can be 5% higher or lower. How to test a resistor with a multimeter? Set the multimeter to ohms mode. Touch the two resistor leads with the probes. Read the value. If it's close to the expected value, the resistor is good. If it reads zero or near zero, it's shorted. If it shows OL or infinity, it's open or broken. 2. Capacitor. How to read its value. You'll see numbers printed like 100 microfarads 16 volts or 104. The first number is the capacitance, how much charge it can store. The second number, like 16 volts, is the maximum voltage it can handle. How to test it with a multimeter. Remove the capacitor from the circuit. If your multimeter has a capacitance mode, cap, select it. Touch the probes to the capacitor's leads. You should see a value close to what's printed, for example, 98 or 105 microfarads for a 100 microfarad capacitor. If you get no reading, zero, or a very odd number, it's bad. 3. Inductor. Coil. How to read its value. You might see something like 220 micro H's or 4.7 millihenries printed on it. Those are units of inductance, but for most people, you don't need to memorize them. What matters is knowing whether it's working or broken. How to test it with a multimeter. Set the multimeter to continuity, beep mode, or resistance, ohms. Touch the probes to both ends of the coil. If you hear a beep or see a small value like 1 ohm or 2 ohm, the coil is good. If it shows OL or no beep, it's open, broken. 4. Transformer. How to read its specs. You'll often see something like 220 volts goes to 12 volts, or primary 220 volts, secondary 12 volts. That means if you feed it 220 volts on one side, it gives 12 volts on the other. How to test it safely. Never test a transformer while it's plugged in. Use the multimeter on resistance, ohm, mode. Measure the primary coil, the 220 volt side. If you see a number like 300 to 400 ohms, it's fine. If you see OL, the coil is broken. Then test the secondary coil, the 12 volt side. It should show a small value, like 5 or 10 ohms. If it shows OL, it's also broken. 